Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad and today we're with one of our project cars, our 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. And we're gonna discuss replacing our tires. Now there's nothing wrong with the tires we have on here today. Still have plenty of tread left. However, they are an all season tire. With all the modifications we've done, we've increased the horsepower the torque substantially. It easily overwhelms these all season tires. So in an effort to be able to utilize all of that newfound performance so that we can get the optimal zero to 60 times, quarter mile times, if you track your car, the best performance on the track, we're going to replace our all season tires with a set of high performance summer only tires. I'm gonna take you through the process that I follow when selecting a tire. And even if you don't have a Honda Accord, it doesn't matter. Hopefully you'd find this video helpful. Like I said, it's more going through the process, things to think about, when selecting a tire, whether it's an all season, high performance, uh, summer only, or a winter tire. So with that said, why don't we go through some of the important aspects of choosing your next tire. Got to choose what type of tire you're looking for. Are you looking for a winter tire? An all season tire? Or a summer tire? So it does get overwhelming. It's, oh my gosh, which one do I need? If you have the capability to have two sets of tires and you swap them out throughout the year and you have a need for a winter tire, it would be a good idea to have a winter only tire. Only because even all season tires, if you get any significant amount of snow, if you get regular occurrences of ice, a winter tire really does outperform even the best all season tire. If you live in an environment where you only get the occasional snowfall, or it's not a lot of snowfall, or you have the ability to not go out when there's a lot of snow. You can stay inside, not a ton of ice, the roads are maintained, temperatures don't get too, too cold. You know what, an all season tire might serve your needs. And that's what I've used most of the time is a good set of all season tires. If you do not see 40 degree temperatures or below, you probably get get away with a summer only tire year round. Or if you do on occasion, but when you do, you don't have to go out and drive, fine, you might be okay with that. So what size tire do you need? If you're simply replacing the tires that you have, go take a look on the side of the tire. It'll show the dimensions, indicate the height of the tire, the width of the tire, and the aspect ratio. If you're looking to opt to get a different size tire, which we are for our Honda Accord, then you have to determine what size will either fit on the rims that you have today or the, on the rims that you're going to have to buy. We're looking to add more traction. So that's why we're moving from an all season tire to a summer tire, something that has a stickier compound, but also that is wider, has a wider track, so it has more contact patch with the road. I am considering moving up from 235 to 265. So I contemplated 245, that's not enough, why do it? 255 seems like a good size, 275 seems a bit large to me. So the combination, the balance between the two for me has been 255, 265. Now, one thing you should be fully aware of is when you're changing the size of your rims and your tires, if you're 
changing it drastically, whether it's a plus size or even a minus size, that will result in having your speedometer be off. By how much, all depends on the size. So there's a whole bunch of calculators out on the internet that can help you with this. What you do is you put in your current size and it'll tell you what sizes, whether it's plus or minus, it'll indicate how much your speedometer would be off. The result, going from a 235 40 19, we're gonna go to a 265 40 18. So overall, very, very close. Difference is very marginal, but at the same time, I'm gonna get much more of a width, more of a contact patch, hopefully helping us with traction. The next step, which honestly is probably the most difficult step, is to determine what you're looking for in a tire. I say it's the most difficult because this is the one where you have to be honest with yourself. Are you looking for the tire with the best traction, a sticky tire that's gonna handle really well, that's gonna break really well, that'll give you all the performance char characteristics, and are you willing to pay for it? So that tire could be extremely expensive. Are you willing to buy that tire regardless of the cost, knowing that maybe it'll only last 10 to 15,000 miles. Usually, those sticky tires, those summer only tires, are gonna have a really low tread life. Cost, performance, tread life, riding comfort, and noise. Before you start looking at tires, really think about that. Which one, how would you rate all of those? And what would you be willing to give up in return for getting more in another area? There's a lot of good tools out there, specifically uh, sites like Tire Rack, Discount Tire Direct, uh, Priority Tire, have reviews, have either tested the tires and rated the tires, that you can go and you can take a look at those ratings. So now where are you gonna buy your tires from? You can buy locally or you can buy online. I've had a lot of good success with uh, Tire Rack, Discount Tire Direct, also Priority Tire. Uh, if you haven't taken a look at them, I'll leave a link in the description below. Take a look at Priority Tire. I have found that their tires are a little bit cheaper. They do offer free shipping and they offer a money back guarantee. So uh, it looks very promising. I will tell you up front here that I have signed up to be an affiliate. If you are going to purchase tires from Priority Tire, please use the link that's in the description below. Performance. I am looking for something that is super sticky, that has good reviews, good data, good statistics, whatever you wanna call it, something that is going to prove that it can perform well in cornering, braking, and especially traction from a dig. So we went with the summer only, we went with something that is high performance, sticky, sticky tire, price, okay, I'm willing to spend a little bit on these tires to make sure it's right. The next aspect is longevity. Like I said, don't put a lot of miles on it, so I was able to put that to the way wayside. But for me, the noise and ride was important too. I've had tires that are extremely noisy and it gets irritating. So here are some tires that I considered. It did go through using different tools and different websites, not just the tire rack, but I went on other websites to see if I see some consistency in the reviews. It was a little bit of a hard choice. At the end of the day, I decided to go with the Michelins because supposedly they are the tire. They're the tire for performance. They are put on so many high performance vehicles. I have just seen and heard nothing but glowing reviews. And although they are on the expensive side, I kept thinking if I don't order these, I'll always wonder how they compare to what I would purchase. I just can't wait for them to actually get here along with the rims and get them installed on the car and see how well they perform. But with that said, I think we're done for today. I wanna thank you for joining and until next time.